On today's episode of the Quad Matrix Q&A, we're going to answer the question about the quad wedge. And that question that we commonly get is, is the design of the quad wedge, does that design where the tips split, does that make the quad wedge flimsy and does it make it less capable of separation? And the best way to describe this is to kind of flip the quad wedge over and you can see that the tip of the wedge is indeed split but the, the body portion that's near the handle is, is solid. And so when we place these, we are not really engaging the teeth in this area with the splitting wings, but we're engaging it with the body of the wedge, which is, which is a solid segment of the wedge itself. And to put that in better perspective, I'm just gonna take a good old fashioned wooden wedge and kind of demonstrate that in this case here without a matrix band. So when we place these wedges, which is, these are the things that we really like lean into, right? And really push hard. But even when I push hard and push it in, if you look at what part of the wedge is actually engaging and creating separation, which means that it has to be engaging both teeth to create separation, but the tip out here is not engaging anything. And so instead of just having a tip hanging out in free space, the verse or the quad wedge has been designed to to split that tip so we can utilize that tip to help seal gingival margins better and get better contours on our restorations prior to polymerization and this reduces cleanup time and, and all of that jazz and further to this a lot of times when we're jamming heavy wedges in these embrasures you can actually dent your matrix bands and and cause them to deform which wasn't a problem for amalgam but in the composite world, if you deform your matrix band, you're gonna deform your restoration. And so to demonstrate how the quad wedge works, so again, the body portion is, is solid, it's just the tip that splits. And so there may be a perception that these are flimsy, but I don't like the word flimsy, I like the word flexible. So these things are flexible and they're designed to engage with the driver tip of the quad ring, which I'm just holding over here so you can kind of see how that driver tip engages here. And when we release it, that interaction between the quad wedge and the quad ring really puts the force of that ring right where we need it, right in this area. And that's creating maximum separation and, and keeping everything in the plane it's supposed to be in. And you'll notice that when you start using this system, you will, you will need stronger uh, matrix forceps to get these matrix bands out. And that's because we are achieving a, a, much, a much tighter and much more proper contact area.